I think there's another angle to this in that they're learning some things that are going to ultimately be um, career oriented. So they're getting exposed to a career that they're interested in. Architecture, uh, building and construction, design, computers, computer programming, web design. I think they're getting exposed to careers that they may have an interest in and one of two things is going to come out of that. They're either going to find they love that career and want to continue to pursue it, or they're going to find that, I don't think this is it for me, but I think the next thing is, and they're going to get a chance to try something else. Well, I'm definitely connected with a lot of people through the academy. Um, I've gotten an idea of, once again, what my career choice is going to be. Um, and it's kind of got me more into a working mentality than just a, I'm here because I have to be here. It's more of a, I'm here because it's going to propel me into the next stage of my life. So what I've tried to do this year, and it worked out fairly well, was to include um, projects that students have to create uh, with their own hands using technology, using materials, building things um, as a summative instead of an essay for a unit exam. Students really, besides learning, they have a good time too with the uh, seismic lesson that we have. It's a competition to see whose building can hold the most weight and withstand the most shaking. So um, students are definitely engaged in that. We have a good time. With the critical thinking involved, I think, with um, reading complex texts and then trying to create, um, for example, show my teacher that I understand this text, but not through writing, through a project, through a presentation, through a 3D model. Um, I think that really, really stimulates them to think outside of the box. And that is so critical for, um, for careers out there, for competitive fields. We also study uh, uh, heat and energy transfer and students use that information to understand the design principles of passive solar homes and then when they take environmental architecture they actually will design a passive solar home using CAD. So that's one way that we integrate between the different content areas. They are absolutely um, knowledgeable about group work, uh, collaborative learning, and I see that in my classroom. So I think what I do with data in my classroom is just an extension of what they're already learning in the academy. We go on field trips uh, to museums like Intel Museum. Uh, we build in the in the shop all the props that we do for the plays. Those are built by data students, and with working with the tools, and you get real world experience on you know construction, and you get to apply that and put that on a resume. It looks good for when you're going to college. We get to work with some of the programs that they use in college like Revit and AutoCAD and it's good to see that it helps tr transfer to the next level and it's, it goes hand in hand. We work collaboratively with uh, many of the departments here at Monterey Trail including theater, the athletics department, um, you can maybe speak a little bit more about this. Mm -hmm. And we also um, we support the school with various projects that teachers have or departments have. So basically um, not only do kids obviously academically do well inherently in an academy, but just supporting the school in general. So like Cindy was saying, athletics, we've built um, shot clock cages for them and we've done propane tank storage containers for them. We do signage for them. We've designed and built the memorial garden that you see at the front of the school and we're going to be expanding that soon. That's all academy students. I've learned a lot of leadership skills. I've learned how to communicate efficiently with people. Um, here in the academy we have a course that teaches us how to create a resume, how to um, research colleges and decide what it is that you want to do for your future and how to conduct an interview as well so you are professional enough to um, get get the job that you want. So um, aside from all of the academic and kind of um, career technical skills that I've learned, I've definitely learned more just life skills in general.
I think we're definitely planting the seeds for the next innovative ideas in these career technical education programs, and we're hopefully developing the interest amongst the next workforce that we're going to need to be able to do some of these career technical education things. And I hope we're building um, programs that inspire some kids to go on and go to college and study what they want to study, but have a focus for what they want to actually do. I think this is where the beauty of the Academy lies, because really we're a family. And I started out three years ago with a freshman advocacy class, and I've really gotten to know them because I spend a half an hour every week with them, plus they're in my biology class, plus they come back to me for AP biology, and I see them at meetings and field trips, those types of things. So we really get to know the kids on a, on a core, very intimate level, and we can all support each other in having all of those students succeed. It's a journey, it's a process. We get to help each other throughout our classes, so we see each other frequently throughout the day. And it's glad to have um, friends that you could depend on in class as well as out of class with projects, and it's, it's a very close-knit family, which I love. So it's definitely a family culture. And let me just add that the students often refer to us as their mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. and it, it kind of goes along with the whole family atmosphere. Um, we, we like to make the students feel like they're supported and uh, we, we truly do care about each and every one of our yeah. Academy students. And all of our staff do. It's, mm -hmm. it's an amazing site uh, that we work at and I'm, I'm very pleased, very happy. Mm -hmm.